Hi, this is Mrs. Santos, your school librarian, and today I'm going to show you how to use TumbleBooks, a database that we subscribe to. The first thing you want to do is go to our school homepage and then scroll down until you get to the TumbleBooks button and click there. Now we're at the TumbleBook library. I want to hear a story, so I'm going to click on the Storybooks button. You can search for books alphabetically, as you can see here. And I would like to read Diary of a Worm. So we're going to click on the button that says View Online. The tumble pad appears and the story begins. There are features on the left side of the screen, such as the go back, pause, and help buttons, and the go on button here. You will also see that the text is highlighted. If you wanted to read aloud to you, you would click on uh, the sound button. Or if you want to turn the pages yourself, you would click on the manual button. After your students read Diary of a Worm, they could take the Tumble Quiz. The quiz helps with checking comprehension of the story. And again, the quiz questions can be read aloud by clicking on this button here. A green arrow appears to prompt the child to move on to the next question. There are also games that they can play after they take the tumble quiz. We have Verb Whack, Word Catch, and a Word Search. There are lesson plans for teachers to access and tumble book report. I hope you have enjoyed this screencast on how to use tumble books. Look forward to many more tutorials on the reference website. Thank you.